Andrei Dmitrievich Sakharov Russian Andrei Dmitrievich Saharov the 21st of May 1921 to the 14th of December 1989 was a Russian nuclear physicist dissident and activist for disarmament peace and human rights he became renowned as the designer of the Soviet Union's RDS-37 a code name for Soviet development of thermonuclear weapons Sakharov later became an advocate of civil liberties and civil reforms in the Soviet Union, for which he faced state persecution. These efforts earned him the Nobel Peace Prize in 1975. The Sakharov Prize, which is awarded annually by the European Parliament for people and organizations dedicated to human rights and freedoms, is named in his honor. Biography <inaudible> <inaudible> Sakharov was born in Moscow on May 21, 1921. His father was Dmitry Ivanovich Sakharov, a private school physics teacher and an amateur pianist. His father later taught at the Second Moscow State University. Andrei's grandfather Ivan had been a prominent lawyer in the Russian Empire who had displayed respect for social awareness and humanitarian principles including advocating the abolition of capital punishment that would later influence his grandson. Sakharov's mother was Yekaterina Alekievna Saharova, a great granddaughter of the prominent military commander Alexei Semenovich Sofiano, who was of Greek ancestry. Sakharov's parents and paternal grandmother, Maria Petrovna, largely shaped his personality. His mother and grandmother were churchgoers, his father was a non-believer. When André was about 13, he realized that he did not believe, but in later life he unequivocally described his religious feeling. Topic. Education and career Sakharov entered Moscow State University in 1938. Following evacuation in 1941 during the Great Patriotic War, World War II, he graduated in Asgobit, in today's Turkmenistan. He was then assigned to laboratory work in Ulanovska. In 1943, he married Klavda Alekievna Vihareva, with whom he raised two daughters and a son. Klavda would later die in 1969. He returned to Moscow in 1945 to study at the Theoretical Department of Fion the Physical Institute of the Soviet Academy of Sciences. He received his Ph.D. in 1947. <laughs> <laughs> Development of thermonuclear devices After World War II, he researched cosmic rays. In mid-1948 he participated in the Soviet atomic bomb project under Igor Kurshatov and Igor Tam. Sakharov's study group at Fion in 1948 came up with a second concept in August-September 1948. Adding a shell of natural, unenriched uranium around the deuterium would increase the deuterium concentration at the uranium-deuterium boundary and the overall yield of the device, because the natural uranium would capture neutrons and itself fission as part of the thermonuclear reaction. This idea of a layered fission fusion fission bomb led Sakharov to call it the Sloika, or layered cake. The first Soviet atomic device was tested on August 29, 1949. After moving to Sarov in 1950, Sakharov played a key role in the development of the first megaton range Soviet hydrogen bomb using a design known as Sakharov's third idea in Russia and the Teller Ulam design in the United States. Before his third idea, Sakharov tried a layer cake of alternating layers of fission and fusion fuel. The results were disappointing, yielding no more than a typical fission bomb. However the design was seen to be worth pursuing because deuterium is abundant and uranium is scarce, and he had no idea how powerful the U.S. design was. Sakharov realized that in order to cause the explosion of one side of the fuel to symmetrically compress the fusion fuel, a mirror could be used to reflect the radiation. The details had not been officially declassified in Russia when Sakharov was writing his memoirs, but in the Teller Ulam design, soft X rays emitted by the fission bomb were focused onto a cylinder of lithium deuteride to compress it symmetrically. This is called radiation implosion. The Teller Ulam design also had a secondary fission device inside the fusion cylinder to assist with the compression of the fusion fuel and generate neutrons to convert some of the lithium to tritium, producing a mixture of deuterium and tritium. Sakharov's idea was first tested as RDS-37 in 1955. A larger variation of the same design which Sakharov worked on was the 50 Mount Tsar Bomba of October 1961, which was the most powerful nuclear device ever detonated. Sakharov saw striking parallels 
between his fate and those of J. Robert Oppenheimer and Edward Teller in the U.S. Sakharov believed that in this tragic confrontation of two outstanding people, both deserved respect, because each of them was certain he had right on his side and was morally obligated to go to the end in the name of truth. While Sakharov strongly disagreed with Teller over nuclear testing in the atmosphere and the Strategic Defense Initiative, he believed that American academics had been unfair to Teller's resolve to get the H-bomb for the United States since all steps by the Americans of a temporary or permanent rejection of developing thermonuclear weapons would have been seen either as a clever feint, or as the manifestation of stupidity. In both cases, the reaction would have been the same, avoid the trap and immediately take advantage of the enemy's stupidity." Sakharov never felt that by creating nuclear weapons he had "...known sin," in Oppenheimer's expression. He later wrote, after more than 40 years, we have had no Third World War, and the balance of nuclear terror may have helped to prevent one. But I am not at all sure of this. Back then, in those long gone years, the question didn't even arise. What most troubles me now is the instability of the balance, the extreme peril of the current situation, the appalling waste of the arms race. Each of us has a responsibility to think about this in global terms, with tolerance, trust, and candor, free from ideological dogmatism, parochial interests, or national egotism. Topic. Support for peaceful use of nuclear technology In 1950 he proposed an idea for a controlled nuclear fusion reactor, the tokamak, which is still the basis for the majority of work in the area. Sakharov, in association with TAM, proposed confining extremely hot ionized plasma by torus-shaped magnetic fields for controlling thermonuclear fusion that led to the development of the tokamak device. Magneto-implosive generators In 1951 he invented and tested the first explosively pumped flux compression generators, compressing magnetic fields by explosives. He called these devices MK for magnetocumulative generators. The radial MK1 produced a pulsed magnetic field of 25 megagauss, 2500 teslas. The resulting helical MK2 generated 1000 million amperes in 1953. Sakharov then tested a MK-driven plasma cannon where a small aluminum ring was vaporized by huge eddy currents into a stable, self-confined toroidal plasmoid and was accelerated to 100 km per second. Sakharov later suggested replacing the copper coil in MK generators with a large superconductor solenoid to magnetically compress and focus underground nuclear explosions into a shaped charge effect. He theorized this could focus 1023 protons per second on a 1 square millimeter surface. Topic. Particle physics and cosmology After 1965 Sakharov returned to fundamental science and began working on particle physics and physical cosmology. He mainly tried to explain the baryon asymmetry of the universe, in that regard, he was the first to propose proton decay and to consider CPT symmetric events occurring before the Big Bang. We can visualize that neutral spinless maximons or photons are produced at t one through the other at the instant t equals zero when the density is infinite, and decay with an excess of quarks when t greater than zero, realizing total CPT symmetry of the universe. All the phenomena at t zero. Sakharov was the first scientist to introduce twin universes he called sheets. He achieved a complete CPT symmetry since the second sheet is populated by invisible shadow matter which is antimatter C symmetry because of an opposite CP violation there, and the two sheets are mirror of each other both in space P symmetry and time T symmetry through the same initial gravitational singularity. In his first model the two universes did not interact, except via local matter accumulation whose density and pressure become high enough to connect the two sheets through a bridge without spacetime between them, but with a continuity of geodesics beyond the Schwarzschild radius with no singularity, allowing an exchange of matter between the two conjugated sheets, based on an idea after Igor Dmitrievich Novikov. Novikov called such singularities a collapse and an anticollapse, which are an alternative to the couple black hole and white hole in the wormhole model. Sakharov also proposed the idea of induced gravity as an alternative theory of quantum gravity. 
Topic turn to activism Since the late 1950s Sakharov had become concerned about the moral and political implications of his work. Politically active during the 1960s, Sakharov was against nuclear proliferation. Pushing for the end of atmospheric tests, he played a role in the 1963 Partial Test Ban Treaty, signed in Moscow. Sakharov was also involved in an event with political consequences in 1964, when the USSR Academy of Sciences nominated for full membership Nikolai Nuzhdin, a follower of Trofim Lysenko initiator of the Stalin-supported anti-genetics campaign Lysenkoism. Contrary to normal practice Sakharov, a member of the Academy, publicly spoke out against full membership for Nuzhdin, holding him responsible for the defamation, firing, arrest, even death, of many genuine scientists. In the end, Nuzhdin was not elected, but the episode prompted Sergei Khrushchev to order the KGB to gather compromising material on Sakharov. The major turn in Sakharov's political evolution came in 1967, when anti-ballistic missile defense became a key issue in U.S.-Soviet relations. In a secret detailed letter to the Soviet leadership of July 21, 1967, Sakharov explained the need to take the Americans at their word and accept their proposal for a bilateral rejection by the USA and the Soviet Union of the development of anti-ballistic missile defense, because otherwise an arms race in this new technology would increase the likelihood of nuclear war. He also asked permission to publish his manuscript which accompanied the letter in a newspaper to explain the dangers posed by this kind of defense. The government ignored his letter and refused to let him initiate a public discussion of ABMs in the Soviet press. In May 1968, Sakharov completed an essay entitled Reflections on Progress, Peaceful Coexistence, and Intellectual Freedom. In it, he described the anti ballistic missile defense as a major threat of world nuclear war. After this essay was circulated in Samizdat and then published outside the Soviet Union, Sakharov was banned from conducting any military-related research and returned to Fion to study fundamental theoretical physics. Over the next 12 years, until his exile to Gorky in January 1980, Andrei Sakharov assumed the role of a widely recognized and open dissident in Moscow. He stood vigil outside closed courtrooms, wrote appeals on behalf of more than 200 individual prisoners, and continued to write essays about the need for democratization. In 1970, Sakharov was among the three founding members of the Committee on Human Rights in the USSR along with Valery Chalidze and Andrei Tverdoklubov. The committee wrote appeals, collected signatures for petitions, and succeeded in affiliating with several international human rights organizations. Its work was the subject of many KGB reports and brought Sakharov under increasing pressure from the government. Sakharov married a fellow human rights activist, Yelena Bonner, in 1972. By 1973, Sakharov was meeting regularly with Western correspondents, holding press conferences in his apartment. He appealed to the U.S. Congress to approve the 1974 Jackson Vonick Amendment to a trade bill, which coupled trade tariffs to the Kremlin's willingness to allow freer emigration. Topic. Attacked by Soviet establishment, 1972 onwards In 1972 Sakharov became the target of sustained pressure from his fellow scientists in the USSR Academy of Sciences, the Soviet press. The writer Alexander Solzhenitsyn, sprang to his defense. In 1973 and 1974, the Soviet media campaign continued, targeting both Sakharov and Solzhenitsyn. While Sakharov disagreed with Solzhenitsyn's vision of Russian revival, he deeply respected him for his courage. Sakharov later described that it took years for him to understand how much substitution, deceit, and lack of correspondence with reality there was in the Soviet ideals. At first I thought, despite everything that I saw with my own eyes, that the Soviet state was a breakthrough into the future, a kind of prototype for all countries. Then he came, in his words, to the theory of symmetry, all governments and regimes to a first approximation are bad, all peoples are oppressed, and all are threatened by common dangers. After that he realized that there is not much symmetry between a cancer cell and a normal one. 
Yet our state is similar to a cancer cell, with its messianism and expansionism, its totalitarian suppression of dissent, the authoritarian structure of power, with a total absence of public control in the most important decisions in domestic and foreign policy, a closed society that does not inform its citizens of anything substantial, closed to the outside world, without freedom of travel or the exchange of information. Sakharov's ideas on social development led him to put forward the principle of human rights as a new basis of all politics. In his works he declared that, "...the principle what is not prohibited is allowed should be understood literally." Defying what he saw as unwritten ideological rules imposed by the Communist Party on the society in spite of a democratic 1936 USSR constitution. In no way did Sakharov consider himself a prophet or the like. I am no volunteer priest of the idea, but simply a man with an unusual fate. I am against all kinds of self-immolation for myself and for others, including the people closest to me." In a letter written from exile, he cheered up a fellow physicist and human rights activist with the words, Fortunately, the future is unpredictable and also, because of quantum effects, uncertain. Quote, for Sakharov the indeterminacy of the future supported his belief that he could, and should, take personal responsibility for it. Nobel Peace Prize 1975. In 1973, Sakharov was nominated for the Nobel Peace Prize and in 1974 was awarded the Prix Mondial Chino del Duca. Sakharov was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize in 1975. The Norwegian Nobel Committee called him a spokesman for the conscience of mankind. In the words of the Nobel Committee's citation, in a convincing manner Sakharov has emphasized that man's inviolable rights provide the only safe foundation for genuine and enduring international cooperation. Sakharov was not allowed to leave the Soviet Union to collect the prize. His wife Yelena Bonner read his speech at the ceremony in Oslo, Norway. On the day the prize was awarded, Sakharov was in Vilnius, where human rights activist Sergei Kovalev was being tried. In his Nobel lecture, titled, Peace, Progress, Human Rights, Sakharov called for an end to the arms race, greater respect for the environment, international cooperation, and universal respect for human rights. He included a list of prisoners of conscience and political prisoners in the USSR, stating that he shares the prize with them. By 1976, the head of the KGB Yuri Andropov was prepared to call Sakharov domestic enemy number one before a group of KGB officers. Topic: <laughs> Internal exile, 1980-1986. Sakharov was arrested on the 22nd of January 1980, following his public protests against the Soviet intervention in Afghanistan in 1979, and was sent to the city of Gorky, now Nizhny Novgorod, a city that was off limits to foreigners. Between 1980 and 1986, Sakharov was kept under Soviet police surveillance. In his memoirs, he mentions that their apartment in Gorky was repeatedly subjected to searches and heists. Sakharov was named the 1980 Humanist of the Year by the American Humanist Association. In May 1984, Sakharov's wife, Yelena Bonner, was detained and Sakharov began a hunger strike, demanding permission for his wife to travel to the United States for heart surgery. He was forcibly hospitalized and force fed. He was held in isolation for four months. In August 1984, Bonner was sentenced by a court to five years of exile in Gorky. In April 1985, Sakharov started a new hunger strike for his wife to travel abroad for medical treatment. He again was taken to a hospital and force-fed. In August the Politburo discussed what to do about Sakharov. He remained in the hospital until October 1985 when his wife was allowed to travel to the United States. She had heart surgery in the United States and returned to Gorky in June 1986. In December 1985, the European Parliament established the Sakharov Prize for Freedom of Thought, to be given annually for outstanding contributions to human rights. On 19 December 1986, Mikhail Gorbachev, who had initiated the policies of perestroika and glasnost, called Sakharov to tell him that he and his wife could return to Moscow. <laughs> Political leader 
In 1988, Sakharov was given the International Humanist Award by the International Humanist and Ethical Union. He helped to initiate the first independent legal political organizations and became prominent in the Soviet Union's growing political opposition. In March 1989, Sakharov was elected to the new parliament. The All Union Congress of People's Deputies and Co led the Democratic Opposition, the Inter Regional Deputies Group. In November, the head of the KGB reported to Mikhail Gorbachev on Sakharov's encouragement and support for the coal miners' strike in Vorkuta. Topic. Death Soon after 2100 on 14 December 1989, Sakharov went to his study to take a nap before preparing an important speech he was to deliver the next day in the Congress. His wife went to wake him at 2300 as he had requested but she found Sakharov dead on the floor. According to the notes of Yakov Rapoport, a senior pathologist present at the autopsy, it is most likely that Sakharov died of an arrhythmia consequent to dilated cardiomyopathy at the age of 68. He was interred in the Vostriakovskoy Cemetery in Moscow. Influence Memorial Prizes The Sakharov Prize for Freedom of Thought was established in 1988 by the European Parliament in his honour, and is the highest tribute to human rights endeavours awarded by the European Union. It is awarded annually by the Parliament to "...those who carry the spirit of Soviet dissident Andrei Sakharov," to "...laureates who, like Sakharov, dedicate their lives to peaceful struggle for human rights." An Andrei Sakharov Prize has also been awarded by the American Physical Society every second year since 2006, "...to recognize outstanding leadership and or achievements of scientists in upholding human rights." The Andrei Sakharov Prize for Writers' Civic Courage was established in October 1990, in 2004, with the approval of Elena Bonner. An annual Sakharov Prize for Journalism was established for reporters and commentators in Russia. Funded by former Soviet dissident Pyotr Vins, now a businessman in the USA, the prize is administered by the Glasnost Defense Foundation in Moscow. The prize, for journalism as an act of conscience, has been won over the years by famous journalists such as Anna Politovskaya and young reporters and editors working far from Russia's media capital, Moscow. The 2015 winner was Yelena Kostuchenko. Andrei Sakharov Archives and Human Rights Center The Andrei Sakharov Archives and Human Rights Center, established at Brandeis University in 1993, are now housed at Harvard University. The documents from that archive were published by the Yale University Press in 2005. These documents are available online. Most of documents of the archive are letters from the head of the KGB to the Central Committee about activities of Soviet dissidents and recommendations about the interpretation in newspapers. The letters cover the period from 1968 to 1991 Brezhnev stagnation. The documents characterize not only Sakharov's activity, but that of other dissidents, as well as that of highest position apparatchiks and the KGB. No Russian equivalent of the KGB archive is available. Topic. Legacy and remembrance Topic. Places In Moscow, there is Academician Sakharov Avenue and Sakharov Center. During the 1980s, the block of 16th Street NW between L and M Streets, in front of the Russian ambassador's residence in Washington, D.C. was renamed Andrei Sakharov Plaza as a form of protest against his 1980 arrest and detention. In Yerevan, the capital of Armenia, Sakharov Square, located in the heart of the city, is named after him. The Sakharov Gardens Est, are located at the entrance to Jerusalem, Israel, off the Jerusalem Tel Aviv Highway, there is also a street named after him in Haifa. In Nizhny Novgorod, there is a Sakharov Museum in the apartment on the first floor of the 12-storied house where the Sakharov family lived for seven years. In 2014 his monument was erected near the house. In St. Petersburg, his monument stands in Sakharov Square, and there is a Sakharov Park. 
In 1979, an asteroid, 1979 Sakharov, was named after him. A public square in Vilnius in front of the press house is named after Sakharov. The square was named on 16 March 1991, as the press house was still occupied by the Soviet Army. Andrea Saharova Iela in the district of Plavniki in Riga, Latvia, is named after Sakharov. Andrej Sakharov Platz in downtown Nuremberg is named in honor of Sakharov. In Belarus, International Sakharov Environmental University was named after him. Intersection of Ventura Boulevard and Laurel Canyon Boulevard in Studio City, Los Angeles, is named Andrei Sakharov Square. In Arnhem, the bridge over the Nadaran is called the Andrei Sakharov Brug. The Andrei Sakharov Weg is a street in Assen, Netherlands. There are also streets named in his honor in Amsterdam, Amstelveen, The Hague, Helevoslaus, Leiden, Permarend, Rotterdam and Utrecht. Key Andrei Sakharov in Tournai, Belgium, is named in honor of Sakharov. In Poland, streets named in his honor in Warsaw and Krakow. Andrzej Sakharov Boulevard in the district of Mladost in Sofia, Bulgaria, is named after him. In New York, a street sign at the southwest corner of 3rd Avenue and 67th Street reads Sakharov Bonner Corner, in honor of Sakharov and his wife, Yelena Bonner. The corner is just down the block from the Russian then Soviet mission to the United Nations and was the scene of repeated anti-Soviet demonstrations. Topic. Media In the 1984 made-for-TV film Sakharov starring Jason Robards. In the television series Star Trek, The Next Generation, one of the Enterprise D's shuttlecraft is named after Sakharov, and is featured prominently in several episodes. This follows the Star Trek tradition of naming shuttlecraft after prominent scientists, and particularly in The Next Generation, physicists. The fictitious interplanetary spacecraft cosmonaut Alexei Leonov from the novel 2010, Odyssey 2 by Arthur C. Clarke is powered by a Sakharov drive. The novel was published in 1982, when Sakharov was in exile in Nizhny Novgorod, and was dedicated both to Sakharov and to Alexei Leonov. Russian singer Alexander Gradsky wrote and performed the song, Pamati A. D. Sakharova, in memory of Andrei Sakharov which features on his live in Russia 2 Zivam V 2 CD Topic Honors and Awards Hero of Socialist Labor 3 times the 12th of August 1953 the 20th of June 1956 the 7th of March 1962 Four Orders of Lenin Lenin Prize 1956 Stalin Prize 1953 in 1980 Sakharov was stripped of all Soviet awards for anti-Soviet activities Later during Glasnost he declined the return of his awards and consequently Mikhail Gorbachev did not sign the necessary decree Pre Mondial Chino del Duca 1974 Nobel Peace Prize 1975 Laurea Honoris Causa of the Sapienza University of Rome 1980. Grand Cross of Order of the Cross of Vitus posthumously on January 8, 2003. Bibliography Books Sakharov, Andre Sakharov Speaks. Collins, Harville Press. ISBN 0 00 262755 8. Sakharov, Andre. My Country and the World. Knopf. ISBN 0 394 4026X. Sakharov, Andre. Alarm and Hope. The world renowned Nobel laureate and political dissident speaks out on human rights, disarmament, and detente. Knopf. ISBN 0-394-50369-4. Sakharov, Andre. Collected Scientific Works. Marcel Decker Inc. ISBN 978-0-8247-1714-8. Sakharov, Andre. Moscow and Beyond, 1986-1989. Knopf Doubleday Publishing Group. ISBN 978-0-394-58797-4.
Sakharov, Andre. Memoirs. Vintage. ISBN 0679735955X. Saharov Andre 1996. Vospomanania. V2 Toma Memoirs. In two volumes in Russian. Volume 1. Moscow. Pravoselovic. ISBN 5-7712-0011-5. CS1 maint. Ignored ISBN errors. Link. Saharov Andre 1996. Vospomanania. V2 Toma Memoirs. In two volumes in Russian. Volume 2. Moscow. Pravoselovic. ISBN 5-7712-0026-3. CS1 maint. Ignored ISBN errors. Link. Topic. Articles and interviews. Sakharov, Andre. Thoughts on Progress, Peaceful Coexistence and Intellectual Freedom. Foreign Affairs Publishing Company. ISBN 0 900380 3 9 Sakharov, Andre. The 22nd of July 1968. Thoughts on Progress, Peaceful Coexistence and Intellectual Freedom. PDF. The New York Times. Archived PDF from the original on January 13, 2013. Sakharov, Andre. Spring 1969. Here and There: The Threat of Nuclear War. American Scientist. 57, 1, 167 to 171. JSTOR 27828445. Sakharov, Andre. 1974. O Pizmi Alexandra Solzhenitsyn. Vazdam Sovetskogo Suza. On Alexander Solzhenitsyn's A Letter to the Soviet Leaders. In Russian. New York, Kronika. OCLC 2326203. Sakharov, Andrei, Tverdoklubov, Andrei, Albrecht, Vladimir the 28th of May 1974. USSR. The Chronicle of Current Events. Index on Censorship, 3, 3, 87. doi, 10.1080, Sakharov, Andrei, November 1975. The Need for an Open World, Andrei Sakharov calls on scientists to intensify the campaign for a nuclear weapons ban and full disarmament. Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists, 8-9. Sakharov, Andrei, Turchin, Valentin, Medvedev, Roy the, 6th of June 1970. the Need for Democratization. The Saturday Review, 26-27. Sakharov, Andre, Turchin, Valentin, Medvedev, Roy. Summer 1970. An open letter. Survey 160 to 170. Sakharov, Andre. Summer 1972. Memorandum. Survey 223 to 233. Sakharov, Andre. Spring 1973. Statement by the Human Rights Committee. Survey 271 to 273. Sakharov, Andre. December 1973. Interview with Swedish RTV. Index on censorship 2 4 13 to 17. DOI 10.1080/03064227308532263. Sakharov, Andre. December 1973. The Deputy Prosecutor General and I. Index on censorship 2 4 19 to 23. Doi 10.1080/03064227308532264. Sakharov, Andre. December 1973. Press conference. Index on censorship 2 4 25 to 29. Doi 10.1080/03064227308532264. Sakharov, Andre. December 1973. Reply to critics. Index on censorship 2 4 29 to 30. DOI 10.1080/03064227308532266. Sakharov, Andre. January to March 1974. Reply to oppression. Revista di studi politici internazionali. 41 1, 47 to 54 
JSTOR 42733796. Sakharov, Andre. The 21st of March 1974. How I came to dissent. The New York Review of Books. Sakharov, Andre. The 13th of June 1974. In answer to Solzhenitsyn. The New York Review of Books. Sakharov, Andre. March 1975. Sakharov's Statement on Jackson Amendment. Index on Censorship 4 1, 73 74. doi 10.1080 Sakharov, Andre. Peace, Progress and Human Rights. Index on Censorship 5 2, 3 9. Doi 10.1080/03064227608532514. Sakharov, Andre. The 9th of February 1978. The Death Penalty. The New York Review of Books. Sakharov, Andre. February 1978. Letter from Sakharov and Maimon. Nature. 271, 5645, 499. Bibcode, 1978 Notor.271, 499S. doi, 10.1038, 271499C0. Sakharov, Andre. Fall 1978. The Human Rights Movement in the USSR and Eastern Europe, Its Goals, Significance, and Difficulties. Trialogue, 19, 4-7, 26-27. Sakharov, Andre. December 1980. USSR: Sakharov's Plea for Poets. Index on Censorship 9664. DOI: 10.1080/03064228008533146. Sakharov, Andre. May 1981. The Responsibility of Scientists. Nature. 291 5812 184 to 185 Bibcode 1981 Natur. 291 184 s doi 10.1038/291184a0 Sakharov Andre June 1981 The Social Responsibility of Scientists Physics Today 34 6 25 to 30 Bibcode, 1981PHT 34F, 25S. doi, 10.1063, ISSN 0031-9228. Sakharov, Andre. October 1981. The Responsibility of Scientists. Quadrant. 25 18-21. ISSN 0033-5002. Sakharov, Andre. Fall 1981. An autobiographical note. The Partisan Review, 511 to 513. Sakharov, Andre. The 21st of January 1982. Letter to my foreign colleagues. The New York Review of Books. Sakharov, Andre. Maimon, Nam. March to April 1982. The Plight of Yuri Orlov. Harvard International Review, 4, 6, 50. JSTOR 42762207. Sakharov, Andre. Summer 1982. An Appeal. The Partisan Review, 480 to 482. Sakharov, Andre. June 1983. A Message from Gorky. Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists. 39, 6, 2 to 3. Doi 10.1080/0096340.2.1983.1145899. Sakharov, Andre. Summer 1983. The Danger of Thermonuclear War. An Open Letter to Dr. Sidney Drell. PDF. Foreign Affairs. 61 5, 1001 to 1016. Doi 10.2307/20041632. JSTOR 20041632. Archived PDF from the original on March 16, 2016. Sakharov, Andre. The 21st of July 1983. A reply to slander. The New York Review of Books. 
Sakharov, Andre. The 1st of March 1984. A letter to my scientific colleagues. The New York Review of Books. Sakharov, Andre. The 16th of March 1987. Of Arms and Reforms. Time. Sakharov, Andre. The 13th of August 1987. On accepting a prize. The New York Review of Books. Sakharov, Andre. The 25th of February 1988. A Man of Universal Interests. Nature. 331, 6158, 671 to 672. Bibcode 1988natur.331671s. DOI 10.1038/331671a0. Sakharov, Andre. The 22nd of December 1988. On Gorbachev, a talk with Andre Sakharov. The New York Review of Books. Saharov, Andre, Bonner, Elena. 1989. Al Simposio de Madrid sobre las relaciones comerciales y económicas este oeste. Madrid Symposium on East West Trade Relations and Economics. Politica Exterior. In Spanish, 3, 12, 45 to 47. JSTOR 20,642,878. Sakharov, Andre, the 17th of August 1989, A Speech to the People's Congress. The New York Review of Books, 36, 13, 25 to 26. Sakharov, Andre, 1990, We cannot do without nuclear power plants, but World Marxist Review, 33 to 21-22. ISSN 0043-8642. Sakharov, Andre, the 21st of May 1990. Sakharov, Sakharov and Solzhenitsyn: A Difference in Principle. Time. Sakharov, Andre, the 21st of May 1990. Sakharov, Years in Exile. Time. Sakharov, Andre, July 1999. Lecture in Lions: Science and Freedom. Physics Today, 52, 7, 22 to 24. Bibcode 1999 PHT. 0.52 grams, 22s. DOI 10.1063/1.882746. ISSN 0031-9228. Topic. See also. Sakharov conditions. Sakharov prize. Sergey Kovalev. Nathan Sharansky, Edward Teller, Stanislaw Ulam, Omid Kokobi, Mordecai Venunu. Topic. References. Topic. Further reading. One hundred thousand honor Andre Sakharov. The Glasgow Herald, the eighteenth of December, nineteen eighty nine. P. 4. An Honorable Dissident. New Scientist. 90 1251, 266. The 30th of April 1981. Andrei Sakharov Addresses Grads. The Lewiston Daily Sunday 15 June 1987. P. 14. Andrei Sakharov Ends Lone Hunger Strike. Eugene Register Guard. 7 August 1984. P. 4A. Developments concerning Dr. Andrei Sakharov, joint hearing before the Subcommittee on Human Rights and International Organizations of the Committee on Foreign Affairs and the Subcommittee on Investigations of the Committee on Post Office and Civil Service, House of Representatives, 99th Congress, Second Session, March 18, 1986. Volume 4. U.S. Government Printing Office, 1986. Exile of Andrei Sakharov is deplored. The Telegraph, the 23rd of January 1980, p. 2. How Sakharov won exit visa for his wife. Chicago Tribune, the 24th of February 1986. President honors Andre Sakharov. Sarasota Herald Tribune, the 19th of May 1983, p. 7a. Russia orders end of internal exile for Andre Sakharov, noted dissident. The Tuscaloosa News. 
the 19th of December 1986. Sakharov, Andre. Facets of a Life. Frontiers, 1991. ISBN 978-2-86332-096-9. Sakharov case spotlights Soviet efforts against dissidents. The Hour, the 26th of May 1984. Sakharov in a plea on prisoners. The New York Times, the 4th of September 1986. Sakharov as symbol of fight for freedom, Russian dissident scientist awarded Nobel Peace Prize. Observer Reporter, the 10th of October 1975. Sakharov letter describes torment. Chicago Tribune, the 16th of February 1986. Sakharov speaks out on repression, détente Sakharov's letter to Anatoly P. Alexandrov, President of the Soviet Academy of Sciences. The Ukrainian Weekly. LXXXVII 31. The 28th of December 1980. Scientists meet in New York to honor Sakharov. New Scientist. 90 1252, 332. The 7th of May 1981. Soviet detention of Andrei Sakharov, markup before the Committee on Foreign Affairs, House of Representatives, 96th Congress, 2nd Session, 4 February 1980. Washington, D.C., U.S. Government Printing Office, 1980. Soviet opposition left leaderless by passing of Andrei Sakharov. Eugene Register Guard. 17 December 1989. p. 18a. Soviet Union, Sakharov's Defense. Time, 24 September 1973. Soviet Union, a warning for Sakharov. Time, 5 November 1973. Soviet Union, a travel permit for Sakharov. Time, 31 October 1988. The Blessed Curse of Andrei Sakharov. Chicago Tribune. 17 November 1988. The Undefeated Sakharovs. Chicago Tribune. 28 December 1986. Trying to Help Andrei Sakharov. The Hour, 1 March 1980. p. 23. Altshuler, Boris. February 2012. Andrei Sakharov Today, Lasting Impact on Science and Society. Physics U.S. Becky. 55 2, 176. Bibcode, 2012 PHYU.55.176A. doi, 10.3367, UFNE.0182, 201202H.0188. Applebaum, Anne. The 20th of October 2005. Hero. The New York Review of Books. Babionishov, Alexander 1982. On Sakharov. New York, Alfred A. Knopf. ISBN 978-0-394-71004-4. Bailey, George 1989. The Making of Andre Sakharov. Alan Lane. ISBN 0713990333. Belozerkovsky, Vadim Soviet dissenters, Solzhenitsyn, Sakharov, Medvedev. Partisan Review. 42 35-68. Bergman, J. 2009. Meeting the Demands of Reason, The Life and Thought of Andrei Sakharov. Cornell University Press. ISBN 978-0-8014-4731-0. Bolin, Celestine. The 11th of January 1987. Sakharov describes loneliness of life in Gorky. The Washington Post. Bonner, Yelena, the 16th of May 1986. Yelena Bonner tells of medical abuse of her husband. Science, 232, 4752, 821. Bibcode 1986Sci.232821H. Doi 10.1126 science.3704629. Bonner, Elena. 1988-1986. Alone Together 3 ed. New York, Vintage Books. ISBN 0394755383. Bonner, Elena. December 2005. Sakharov as Tokamak's originator. Physics Today. 
Bibcode, 2005PHT 58Q15B. DOI 10.1063/1.2169425. Kapuza, Jamie, Golden, James. 1988. The Images and Impact of Andrei Sakharov: A Study of Dissident Rhetoric in the Soviet Human Rights Movement. Ohio State University. OCLC 19583828. Carol, Nicholas, the 25th of February 1981. The Loneliness of Andre Sakharov. The Montreal Gazette, p. 23. Clemens, Walter Jr., 1971. Sakharov, A Man for Our Times. Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists, 27 10 4-56. doi 10.1080/0096340.2.1971.1145547. Clementi, Marco, 2002. Il diritto al dissenso, il progetto costituzionale di Andre Sakharov, the right to dissent, Andre Sakharov's constitutional project in Italian. Rome, Odratic Edizioni. ISBN 8886973446. Hamilton, Ian M. 1975. Andrei Sakharov, The Conscience of a Liberal Scientist. In Tokes, Rudolf. Dissent in the USSR, Politics, Ideology, and People. Johns Hopkins University Press. pp. 354-417. ISBN 0-8018-1661-0. Drell, Sydney, May 2000. Andre Sakharov and the Nuclear Danger. Physics Today, 53:537. Bibcode 2000PHT. 53E37D. DOI 10.1063/1.883099. Drell, Sidney, Hoagland, Jim, Schultz, George, the 25th of June 2015. The Man Who Spoke Truth to Power: Andrei Sakharov's Enduring Relevance. Foreign Affairs. Drell, Sidney, Kapitsa, Sergey, eds. 1991. Sakharov Remembered. Springer. ISBN 9780883188521. CS1 maint, multiple names, authors list link CS1 maint, extra text, authors list link Drell, Sidney, Okun, Lev August 1990. Andrei Dmitrievich Sakharov. Physics Today. 43 8, 26. Bibcode, 1990PHT, 43H, 26D. doi, 10.1063, 1.881252. Drell, Sidney, Schultz, George 2015. Andre Sakharov, The Conscience of Humanity. Hoover Press. ISBN 0817918965. Drummond, Roscoe the 7th of March 1977. What Kind of Man is Andre Sakharov? Observer Reporter. p. A4. Eaton, William the 20th of July 1985. Sakharov, Soviet aides defend internal exile, Soviets, challenged on rights, defend treatment of Sakharov. Los Angeles Times. Eaton, William, the 8th of December 1985. Tass says Sakharov is only afflicted by aging. Los Angeles Times. Ferullo, Joe, Moore, Suzanne, the 30th of January 1979. Talking to Tanya, Sakharov's daughter speaks in Massachusetts. Columbia Daily Spectator. CIII 61 3 Feshbach, Herman, April 1987. A meeting with Sakharov. Physics Today. 44 7. Bibcode 1987PHT 40D 7F. DOI 10.1063/1.2819974. Fireside, Harvey, Winter 1989. Dissident Visions of the USSR. Medvedev, Sakharov and Solzhenitsyn. Polity. 22 2, 213 to 229. Doi 10.2307/3234832. Fisher, Dan. The 24th of May 1984. Andrei Sakharov: A Prophet Without Honor Among His Own People. Los Angeles Times. P. 7A. Firth, Harold. The 30th of April 1981. Sakharov: Science of a Dissident. New Scientist. 
90 1251, 274-278. Ginzburg, Vitaly 2001. The Sakharov Phenomenon. The Physics of a Lifetime, Reflections on the Problems and Personalities of Twentieth-Century Physics. Springer. pp. 471-506. ISBN 3540675345. Glazov, Yuri 1985. Pasternak, Solzhenitsyn, and Sakharov. The Russian Mind Since Stalin's Death. D. Rydell Publishing Company. pp. 158-179. ISBN 9027718288. Gorlick, Gennady, Buiz, Antonina 2005. The World of Andrei Sakharov, A Russian Physicist's Path to Freedom. Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-515620-1, CS1 maint, Multiple Names, Authors List Link Gorlick, Gennady July 2002. The Metamorphosis of Andrei Sakharov, the inventor of the Soviet hydrogen bomb became an advocate of peace and human rights. What led him to his fateful decision? PDF. Scientific American, 27-30. Archived from the original PDF on April 5, 2016. Retrieved April 5, 2016. Gottfried, Kurt, Orlov, Yuri the 19th of December 1989. A Man Who Would Not Be Silenced, Sakharov, He Saw Scientific, Political and Moral Realities as One Equation, and He Died Still Warning About Tomorrow. The Los Angeles Times. Harasovska, Marta, Olhovich, Orest 1977. The International Sakharov Hearing. Smoloskype Publishers. ISBN 0914834118. Harris, Zelda, Richter, Elihu Andrei Sakharov, Elena Bonner and Gilad Shalit. The Jerusalem Post. Hess, Natalia, Tals, Vladimir The Sakharovs in Gorky. The New York Review of Books. Herman, Anton November 1987. Elena Bonner and Andrei Sakharov. Quadrant. 33 11, 78-79. Holloway, David March 1990. Andrei Sakharov, 1921-1989. Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists. 46 14 Doi 101 Holloway, David. The 30th of June 1991. Moral leader of a nation. Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists. 47, 6, 37 to 38. Jacobs, Michael. March 1980. Sakharov exile triggers reaction in U.S. physics community. Physics Today. 33, 3, 133. Bibcode 1980 PHT. 33C 133J. Doi 10.1063/1.2913982. Keller, Bill. The 3rd of April 1987. Sakharov disillusions dissidents. The Chicago Tribune. Kelly, Donald. February 1979. Solzhenitsyn and Sakharov as futurologists. Futures. 11 1, 63-68. Doi 10.1016/0016-3287-79-90070-3. Kelly, Donald. 1982. The Solzhenitsyn Sakharov Dialogue: Politics, Society, and the Future. Greenwood Press. ISBN 0313229406. Clear, Harvey. The 5th of September 2005. Sakharov Watch. Fearful Police State Meets Brave Dissident. The Weekly Standard, 10, 47. Klein, Edward. The 22nd of December 1986. Sakharov stands for the individual. Los Angeles Times. Corey, William. November 1986. Andrei Sakharov: The Soviet Jewish Perspective. Soviet Jewish Affairs, 16, 3, 17 to 28. Doi 10.1080/13 quadrillion 501 trillion 678 billion 608 million 577,546. Kovalev, Sergey. May 21, 1998. 
Andrei Dmitrievich Sakharov, Meeting the Demands of Reason. Izvestia. Archived from the original on February 23, 2016. Kramer, Mark. The 17th of December 1989. His spirit moved him, and indeed, it moved us all. Sakharov, always the optimist, he gained an inner strength that carried him from exile to the leading voice of the Soviet opposition. The Los Angeles Times. Kupts, Kirsten. 2004. Descent in the Soviet Union: The Role of Andrei Sakharov in the Human Rights Movement. Grin Verlag. ISBN 3638278344. Lee, Gary. The 12th of November 1988. Sakharov says Soviet Union continues to violate human rights. The Washington Post. Lee, Gary. The 15th of November 1988. President receives Sakharov. The Washington Post. Levert, Suzanne. 1986. The Sakharov File, A Study in Courage. J. Messner. ISBN 0671600702. Lewis, Anthony. The 14th of July 1984. Torturing Andre Sakharov. Sarasota Herald Tribune. p. 21a. Lipkin, Harry. 2013. Andre Sakharov, Quarks and the Structure of Matter. World Scientific Publishing. ISBN 978-981-4407-41-0. Lizzie, Fang, Ratnasar, Romesh. The 14th of June 1999. The Dissident Andre Sakharov. Time. Lord, David. The 24th of December 1986. Sakharov's release cause for optimism, Kotler says. The Montreal Gazette. P. A7. Lizansky, Edward. 1985. Andrei Sakharov and Peace. Avon. ISBN 978 0 380 89819 0. Marshall, Elliot. The 8th of February 1980. U.S. scientists protest punishment of Sakharov. Science. 207 4431 625. Bibcode 1980 Psi. 207Q, 625M. doi, 10.1126, science.207.4431.625. PMID 17749319. Medvedev, Zors, the 9th of January 1986. Sakharov's Scientific Legacy. Nature. 319, 6049, 93. Bibcode, 1986 Natur, 319Q, 93M. doi, 10.1038, 319093A0. Medvedev, Zors, the 26th of January 1987. Andrei Sakharov's Return. The Scientist. Medvedev, Zors, March 1990. The Legacy of Andrei Sakharov. Index on Censorship, 19, 3, 13 to 14. Doi 10.1080/03064229008534808. Mervis, Jeffrey. The 26th of January 1987. Sakharov release may bolster ties with West, say activists. The Scientist. Mitgang, Herbert. The 12th of May 2002. A life of scientist and dissident Andrei Sakharov. The Chicago Tribune. Malik, John, the 24th of December 1989. The Wisdom of Andrei Sakharov. The Washington Post. Moscovici, Serge, 1997. Singer, Sakharov et avoir l'air. O la transgression mean a l'identification. Singer, Sakharov and looking like. Where infringement leads to identification. L'actual in French, 7, 39 to 58. Murray Brown, Jeremy, 1988. Sakharov, the KGB, and the mass media. In Bitman, Ladislav. The New Image Makers, Soviet Propaganda and Disinformation Today. Washington, Pergamon Brassies. pp. 159-200. ISBN 0080349390. Archived from the original on December 20, 2016. Maidens, Seth. The 18th of February 1977. Sakharov gets personal letter from Carter. Schenectady Gazette. 
LXXXIV 121 Nathans Benjamin the 29th of August 2003 The Sakharov Archives a vital record of human rights history is in danger The New York Times Porubkansky Mark the 4th of June 1988 Sakharov Time Trust needed for reform Lakeland Ledger p 11a Rabinowich, Eugene November 1968 the Sakharov Manifesto, Progress, Peaceful Coexistence, Intellectual Freedom. Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists. 24 9, 2-7. doi, 10.1080-00963402.1968.1145727. Redaway, Peter the 24th of December 1986. What Future for the Sakharovs? Sarasota Herald Tribune. P. 7a. Rayom, Charles. February 2008. Western scientists' reactions to Andrei Sakharov's human rights struggle in the Soviet Union, 1968 to 1989. Human Rights Quarterly, 30, 1, 1-20. HRQ.2008.0004. JSTOR 20486694 Rich Vera the 16th of May 1985 Sakharov resignation from Soviet Academy Nature 315 6016 169 Bibcode 1985 natur.315 169r DOI 10.1038/315169b0 Rich Vera, the 10th of November 1988. Sakharov to stand for Supreme Soviet. Nature, 336, 6195, 97. Bibcode, 1988 Natur.336. 97 R. DOI 10.1038/336097B0. Rich Vera, the 11th of February 1988. Sakharov work acknowledged. Nature. 331 6156, 468. Bibcode, 1988 Natur.331, 468 R. doi, 10.1038, 331468C0. Rich, Vera May 1983. Soviet Human Rights, One Way Trip for Sakharov? Nature. 303 5913, 106. Bibcode, 1983 Natur.303, 106 R. doi, 10.1038, 30310C0. Rich, Vera 1993. East-West Links, Sakharov College Struggles On. Physics World. 6, 8, 9. doi, 10, 1088 to 7058-6, 8 Ritus, Vladimir. February 2012. A.D. Sakharov: Personality and Fate. Physics U.S. Becky. 55:2, Bibcode: 2012PHYU.55/170R. DOI: 10.3367/UFNE.0182.201202 grams.0182. Robert Horvath, October 2015. Sakharov would be with us. Limonov, Strategy 31, and the Dissident Legacy. The Russian Review, 74, 581-598. DOI 10.1111 Rus.12049. Sapphire William, the 2nd of February 1977. Russian Scientist and the Moral Hotline. The Day, P. 8. Sessler, Andrew, Howell, Ivan May 1984. Andrei Sakharov, A Man of Our Times. American Journal of Physics. 52 397-402. Bibcode, 1984amjph.52, 397s. doi, 10.1119, Shanker, Tom the 25th of December 1986. Free Political Dissidents, Sakharov Tells Gorbachev. Chicago Tribune. Sharansky, Anatoly Spring 1990. The Legacy of Andrei Sakharov. 
Journal of Democracy, 1, 35 40. DOI 10.1353/JOD.1990.0035. Symes, Dmitry. The 29th of December 1986. Gorbachev and Sakharov. Little has changed yet. Los Angeles Times. Smith, Fred. Winter 1991. Sakharov and Solzhenitsyn: Dissidents with a Different World View. The Journal of Social, Political, and Economic Studies, 16, 4, 469 to 476. Solzhenitsyn, Alexander. December 1973. Peace and Violence, Sakharov for the Nobel Peace Prize. Index on Censorship, 2, 4, 47 to 51. Doi 10.1080/03064227308532268. Sternberg, Hillary. December 1973. Sakharov and Solzhenitsyn: Champions of Freedom. Index on Censorship, 2, 4, 5 to 11. Doi 10.1080/03064227308532261. Sarotseva, Ekaterina. 2014. I Solzhenitsyn I A D Saharov Diskusha Vokrug Pisma Vazdam Sovetskogo Suza I E Vospriati V Emigrantskij Pikati Emigrskij A I. Solzhenitsyn and A D. Sakharov, The Debate Around Letter to the Soviet Leaders and Its Perception in the Emigre Press. M. Agursky, PDF. Philologikoski Nauki. The Prozi Teori i Praktiki in Russian, 9, 39, Part 2, 159 161. Archived from the original PDF, immediate download on March 6, 2016. Sarotseva, Ekaterina. 2015. A I Solzhenitsyn A D Saharov I R Medvedev Diskusha Vokrug Pisma Vazdam Sovetskogo Suza I E Vospriati V Emigrantskij Pikati M. Igerskij A. I. Solzhenitsyn, A. D. Sakharov and R. Medvedev, The Debate Around Letter to the Soviet Leaders and Its Perception in the Emigre Press. M. Igersky. Molodoy Yusinij in Russian, 2, 608-613. Archived from the original on April 19, 2015. Teller, Edward. 1991. A Life of Fighting for Freedom. Physics World, 4, 5, 44. Doi 2058 to 7058, the 5th of April 28. Vernakia Galli, Joel. 1986. Andrei Dmitrievich Sakharov. Registo della Lari Honoris Causa dal 1944 al 1985, the Register of Honoris Causa degrees from 1944 to 1985. Studi e fonti per la storia dell'Università di Roma in Italian. Volume 10. Roma, Edizioni dell'Atonio. pp. 687-779. The Registo della Lari Honoris Causa dal 1944 al 1985 is a detailed and carefully commented register of all the documents of the official archive of the Sapienza University of Rome pertaining to the Honoris Causa degrees awarded or not. It includes all the awarding proposals submitted during the considered period, detailed presentations of the work of the candidate, if available, and precise references to related articles published on Italian newspapers and magazines, if the laurea was awarded. Wade, Nicholas the 15th of February 1980. A Pledge to Help Sakharov. PDF. Science. 207 4432, 745. Bibcode, 1980 Sci. 207s 745w doi 10.1126 science.11643589 archived pdf from the original on october 20th 2015 wade nicholas the 15th of may 1981 Physicists meet to honor Sakharov. The Soviet physicist Andrei Sakharov will be 60 on the 21st of May. A symposium in his honor was held on May Day, not in Moscow but in New York. PDF. Science. 212, 4496, 756 to 757. Bibcode 1981 Sci. .212, 756w doi.10.1126, science.212.4496.756. Archived PDF from the original on October 18, 2015. Wade, Nicholas March 1980. Sakharov Expulsion Averted. 
PDF. Science. 207 4438, 1451. Bibcode, 1980Sci.207S1451W. doi 101126 science207.207.4438.1451b. Bibcode, 101126 science.207.4438.1451b. from the original on October 20, 2015. Wade, Nicholas, the 14th of March 1980. Sakharov protests mount. PDF. Science. 207, 4436, 1186. Bibcode 1980Sci. Point two zero seven one one eight six W. Doi 10.1126. Science. Point two zero seven point four four three six point one one eight six. PMID 17,776,847. Archived PDF from the original on October 20, 2015. Weeks, Albert. 1975. Andrei Sakharov and the Soviet Dissidents: A Critical Commentary. Monarch Press. ISBN 0671009636X. White, Sarah. The 12th of July 1973. Will Sakharov soon be silenced? New Scientist. 59 854-92. Weisskopf, Victor August 1984. Sakharov and East-West Relations. Bulletin of the Atomic Scientists. 40 7 2.10.1080-00963402.1984.1145924-7. Wren, Christopher the 10th of October 1975. Andrei Sakharov fights to attain human rights. The Daytona Beach News Journal. P. 8A. Wynn, Allen, Dewurst, Martin, Stone, Harold. 1986. Fifth International Sakharov Hearing, Proceedings, April, 1985. Andre Deutsch. ISBN 0233980504. Young, Benjamin. 2012. Andre Sakharov. In Williams, Robert, Viotti, Paul. Arms Control, History, Theory, and Policy. ABC Clio. pp. 307-309. ISBN 0275998207. Stravomyslav, Andrei. 1995. Divizini v Svit Sociology Conflicta. Adi Saharov. Dissident Movement in the Light of Sociology of Conflict. A. D. Sakharov. Sociologia Conflicta. Rossiya na puta priodolinia krisiza. Yusebno posabi de la studenta visa yusebni zavadinaj sociology of conflict. Russia on ways to overcome crisis. Textbook for students of higher educational institutions in Russian. Moscow. Aspect pra. pp. 264-267. ISBN 5756700099. Bibliography. External links The Andrei Sakharov Archives at the Houghton Library Faces of Resistance in the USSR, the Andrei Sakharov Archives homepage archived webpage. Brandeis University. Archived from the original on January 20, 2003. Retrieved April 17, 2006. Andrei Sakharov, Soviet Physics, Nuclear Weapons, and Human Rights. Web exhibit at the American Institute of Physics. Andrei Sakharov, Photochronology Annotated bibliography of Andrei Sakharov from the ALSOS Digital Library Topic. Videos Václav Havel and Soviet Dissidents, 8 Minutes, watch Andrei Sakharov's interview since 2005 on YouTube Spekvipusk Pam Ati Andrea Saharova Special Program Issue. In commemoration of Andrei Sakharov, Mustafa Gemilev's interview to Semyon Glusman, in Russian, 26 minutes, 15 December 2014 on YouTube.